everyone, it's Cassie, and I am so excited to show you something that I have recently learned. Now, I love PowerPoint, I love Google Slides, and sometimes I feel like I know just about everything there is to know, which I know I don't really, but I feel that way. And so when I learn something new, I am just like so excited and I get to share it with you. So what I'm gonna share with you today is how you can take your file, share it with your students, and then make updates on your file that your students can get in real time. This is a great idea if you're wanting to do something where you're not exactly sure what you're going to be doing each day, like for homework, for example, maybe you're only gonna have homework if in certain instances, or maybe you're working on a, a, I don't know, an interactive notebook and you're gonna add to it a little bit each day, or maybe you just wanna surprise students. Maybe like you wanna do something that's um, prizes for the day or something they're working towards. So this is a super fun and very easy strategy that you can use. So I started by making a little, this is gonna be a homework chart, but you can use it for whatever, and you can get it. The link is in the description. You can download a copy. And it's just so cute, because it's got these cutest little bunnies, and my favorite one is Friday's Friday, and it's like the little chick that wants to be a bunny. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so here it is, and now I want to make a copy for the students. So I've labeled this one teacher just to help me differentiate between them. And now in a new tab, I'm just gonna type slides.new, and it's gonna come up with a brand new slides that I am going to name student, so I know it's the student copy, and delete off any slides just so it's blank and ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna prepare this before I share it with the students. So remember, once you've shared it with the students, now they all have different copies, and if you wanted to make changes, you'd have to go in individually to each student's copy to make that change. So really think ahead of what you want your students to have. I know I want them to have all of these pages, but I actually might wanna add something, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a couple of blank slides just in case. I'd rather do it now and they have them than me share it with the students and I have to do it individually. Okay, so I have my student copy set up, I have my teacher copy, all of it's ready to go, and now I just need to copy and paste these slides into the student slide. Now that's super easy, just copy and paste, but I want to warn you not to try to do the file, make a copy of selected slides or whatever, because then you're making a brand new copy and it won't be a linked copy. We just wanna link it. So I'm just old fashioned gonna copy. Now I'm gonna go into the student's slide and I'm going to paste them. Now this is the pop-up that was getting on my nerves for a couple of months because I kept seeing it but I had no idea what it was for and I just sort of ignored it. And now I know how special this is, this last option link and keep original styles. As soon as I click that, I can see this little icon showing that it's linked. So now if I go back into the teacher copy, I can make any changes and it's gonna automatically change them on the student's copy as well. So let's say that you've made this and now you've shared it with Google Classroom and all of the kids have this. Let's just pretend that this is Callie's copy or whatever. Okay, so now this is a student copy. Um, once I go in here, and let's say it's Monday, and now I want to remind students to study for their spelling test. Um, all right, and then once I look in the student's copy, I'm gonna go up to that page and see this little pop-up for update, all the student has to do is click that, and whatever I did on the teacher copy is going to update automatically on the student copy. So it's really cool how it works. There are a couple things to be aware of, and that's if students add things to their page, maybe they wanna add their own notes. If you go back and change this, it's going to completely refresh. So let's pretend that Callie had some absent work and she wanted to add to her list. It's going to be fine for a while, and it's going to be fine all the way up until the teacher changes it. So if you never change it, it's, it's gonna be fine for Callie, but if you add to it, um, maybe you add like finished math or something, as soon as you change this up, 
And as soon as she clicks update, it's gonna do away with her stuff. So that's pretty much it. Beware that um, if you add, add pages here, you're not gonna really be able to link them to all of the students at once. So that's kind of what I was mentioning a little bit ago. So I mean, pretty much that's it. The good thing is whatever, whatever the students do to their file is not gonna revert onto the teacher copy. So let's say maybe the student just like accidentally deleted it and they have nothing left. Well, back in the teacher copy, it, nothing happened. We don't have this link and refresh. So it only goes one way, which of course is awesome when you're working with kids because you never know what's gonna happen, especially if you just shared it with 20 different kids. So I hope this is something that you can use. I hope that you're getting some ideas about what you would like to push out to your students in little batches instead of all at once. And I think this is something you could use. So I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.